Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Civic Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your Xbox One into a low resolution mode so you can fix HDMI issues. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So this is a common problem. When you take your Xbox One from one TV to another TV and the settings on your Xbox One aren't set to automatic and you get to the new TV and nothing will display. Well, one of the reasons for this is because the resolution you have it set to on your Xbox One isn't supported on the new TV. So how do we reset the resolution on our Xbox One? So I'm gonna show you how to launch your Xbox One right now into the low resolution mode. And this is very easy. All right, so this is what we have to do to get into low resolution. So I have the console on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and fully power off the Xbox One by holding down the Xbox button for about 10 seconds. Now, you don't wanna just tap it, that'll just put into like the instant on mode. You wanna fully hold it down and power off the console completely. Now that you have it off, locate the eject button and the Xbox button here and hold it down at the same time. Now you're gonna hear it like a beep initially, like a chime. And you're gonna to wanna to hold this down for about 10 to 20 seconds. Now on your TV, you're gonna go ahead and see the Xbox logo boot up. And you should see it launch into a lower resolution mode. So when you hear that second beep, go ahead and let go of the eject and power button. Now focus on your TV. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my controller here. And as you can see, there is bars on the top and bottom of my screen. That's a clear indication to me that I'm in the low resolution mode. And also everything just looks very blurry compared to how it usually is. Now let's go ahead and press the Xbox button on our controller. Open up the side menu here. Scroll over to settings on the systems tab. Next we're gonna to wanna to go to the general tab, then over to TV and display options. Then the first option will be resolution. Now I'm going to go to resolution and go through the different settings on here. Now I know my TV is 1080p and I'm just going to go ahead and select that. So if you select a input that's not available to your TV, you're just going to get a blast screen and after like 20 seconds it's going to revert again. So I'm going to go to yes, I want to keep this display. Now unlike the PlayStation 4, I do not see an option for automatic control on here. I wish they did have it. So go to the highest resolution and you know your display accepts. So it looks the best quality. So if this video did indeed help you out getting a display back on your TV with the Xbox One, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.